so core concepts that we kind of explore through a causal loop diagram are of course cause and effect that is why it is called causal loop diagram. We try to understand the feedback loops see if, if at the end of it if your causal loop diagram is just a linear thing a of x b, b of x c, c of x d that is not a loop that is just a, a linear regression model there is no feedback nothing is happening here. So, the entire thing which makes it difficult is when feedback starts to kick in it makes the system complex and key causal links that we are interested in are those inside those feedback loops and then positive feedback loop even number of negative signs it will have an amplifying effect it will cause reinforcing it will cause growth or a rapid decline essentially all these systems are becomes unstable without something to balance or something to goal seek or negative feedback loop or balancing stabilizing stable equilibrium often good that is why it all the terms positive and negative here it can be a misnomer positive uh, it just goes with the number of uh, the direction of movement and things like that, but uh, what we are actually looking for is what are things that is causing the system to balance to stabilize to stable equilibrium etc. And this feedback system and everything even many of our day to day lives are even simple electromechanical system all are based on feedback the AC in this room is based on feedback. Imagine if there is no nothing to balance it it is going to get super cold. So, so there has inherently there will be balance even if the system if the, even if there is some failure point within the sensors there will be other natural balancing act factors like how much uh, what are the cooling agent we have in the system or what is the capacity of it how much it can actually cool etcetera etcetera. So, those are the things which is going to limit the temperature in the room. So, there are various factors that can cause the system to not go grow beyond a point. So, all those are good or when we drive a car or drive a bike we continuously take feedback it is not like when you left the hostel and even if you know which path to take you have to consider instantaneous feedbacks from the trucks and the bus which comes other cyclists friends etcetera etcetera as you come here you cannot just expect to do your thing without taking any feedback at all. So, those are completely it's always inherent in the system we are trying to make it explicit in very mechanical systems electrical systems it becomes more controllable and easy once you move into social systems it becomes little more difficult like driving a car because lot of feedback you have to be really alert uh, people give you unwanted feedbacks <laughs> everything is there. So, uh, then it becomes difficult to model that it is very easy to model the traffic when it is smooth flowing modeling congestion is very difficult that means there is continuous feedback happening people have to you know that is still right, but eventually people reach their places it is not that nothing happens people go home people go to work people commute things life moves on by taking continuous feedbacks and delays also occurs in the feedback loops from everything. But only thing is we have to be and here time units matter just because you are doing causal loop on systems level please pay attention to the time units units matter here time units matter. So, usually if the we take some time unit for the causal loop diagram say the time units can be say in weeks or months or years and if everything is corresponding to that yearly thing then we do not put any delay mark. If something is causing additional delays beyond our regular time units that we are taking that is when we use the delay mark. So, uh, and everything takes a delay like our tea breaks are long so it may source of long delays in doing assignment studying for exams etc. But uh, that is how it is. So, I am sure as students or masters PhDs can relate like when faculty goes for tea it takes long time for them to come back and wait in their door for meeting them. So, uh, there is lot of delays ok. Let us look at some guidelines for the CLDs all links should have unambiguous polarities ambiguous polarities can indicate presence of other pathways. 
meaning you can have only plus or minus you cannot write it depends you have to choose and say plus or minus answer cannot be it depends on lot of things that would not work if at all it, it depends then you have to uncover what it depends on depends then elaborate the statement do not just stop there that is what we mean by alternate pathways there is something else that is affecting list all those things the model will look bigger which is fine um, there is no this thing for brevity points so you just go ahead and list what are alternate pathways are there the second point is uh, proper variable names variable names prefer to be nouns or noun phrases actions are captured by the causal link themselves so you don't need to write the action or verbs as a variable variable should be nouns or noun phrases choose variable names whose normal sense of direction is positive you don't need to say this causes this uh, or uh, criticism increases unhappiness you can say criticism decreases happiness so the so normal sense can be in the positive or order cause uh, increases losses is a cost decreases profit that could be the so variable names normal sense can be in the positive direction so it's easier for us to visualize so then it's same thing a normal sense of direction is positive for the variables uh, okay let's take these three things and uh, do some examples for that let's call it link ambiguity so standard econ uh, model for economics is price and revenue price affecting revenue depends sometimes on price is large of course you know if uh, it should increase my revenue but that's not always so this revenue is may is actually calculated not on one product but usually on many sales of many products and if price is too high then people may stop buying thing right so there is a bigger narration there that is just relating price to revenue so so on left side i'll try to write the incorrect one on right side i'll try to do the do the correct one so to do that we can identify alternate pathways so as price increases we expect revenue to increase but as price increases sales can fall down this is from basic economic theory but revenue is always just quantity sold into the price of product right so both direction is the same revenue is nothing but sales into price so we just use the same relationship that we study in other economics course revenue is product of sales and price but as price increases sales can come down which had caused some ambiguity here saying whether when price alone if you keep it then we don't get the full picture so that's what we mean by ambiguous thing so you don't do this or you don't say like this you don't do these things these are all incorrect you don't do a plus slash minus and just leave it. so uh, let's look at variable names Here the point was the variable name should be noun or noun phrases, and we should avoid the action. For the action is already captured in the arrows. That is what we have already have. So again, whatever you write on the left side is the incorrect ones. So we don't write uh, cost rise increases to price increase or something. This is not correct. 
the correct one would be cost increases in general price increases. Again these are all we are just focusing on one small link. So, do not be too critical on those two variables you just take it by that or uh, increasing prices of goods results in increasing demand for <coughs> wages. Salaries, whatever. So, this is how the typical narration which when we talk to clients and others or study a system, this is what the narration which come out in the price, uh, whatever GST comes, GST goes, whatever does not matter, new taxation comes, the price is increasing. So, there is a pressure to increase your wages and salaries, but to capture it, we can just simply write it as price of goods. Increases demand for wages. So, the action is already captured by the link. So, when we read this link itself, we read it the way as cost as cost increases, we are looking at the plus sign as cost increases, the price of good uh, also increase or the price of good increases, it increases the demand for wages. So, this plus sign indicates that. So, otherwise, here it is increasing price of goods uh, as that increases it increases the increasing demand for wages it is a very complicated confusing narration increasing decreasing and all those things we leave it to just the link and the plus sign wherever something increases decreases increasing decreasing all those you leave it to the uh, symbols yeah. For the loop you need to look at the bigger system fully. This is just simple examples. Higher inventory, we can then do a negative link uh, example also. Mm, results in low uh, delivery delay. So, what you are saying is if I am well stocked, I have a lot of inventory, I can deliver the product to you in very short time, right. That is what people want. So, that is what I want to say, and that is I have higher inventory which, which results in lower delivery delay. But to capture it correctly, we say inventory decreases delivery delay. So, here when we read it, it is inventory increases, I expect my delivery delay to come down because I have ready stock available to meet whatever demand that can come in future, right. So, this is the correct way to write it. So, right side is all the correct ways, this is not the correct ways, so higher or low etc. ok. Allow the action to display by the links, dot that let me just say that and stop it, uh, normal direction is positive, let me give the same example uh, again. Uh, Okay, sorry. Don't say cost increases losses or criticism increases unhappiness. It is just these are just guidelines. It's uh, rather we can try to say cost decreases profit or revenue, whatever it is. You can. Imagine so these are criticism decreases your happiness. Right? These are some again as I told on this side is incorrect one and these sides are the correct ways. These are just common practices so that when the outcomes when you start looking at it when we match, we can easily compare, right? We Typically, we want okay higher the better kind of thing. So we want to uh, from the ground from the start itself use variable names with normal senses in the positive direction, so that when we actually uh, analyze it later, 
it brings a narration otherwise it it looks like there is some double negative thing happening and it's all confusing what we want to do okay so i'll just stop here so tomorrow we'll again meet 11:30 so tomorrow we may go little beyond class hours maybe till 12:45 12 12:50 12 because we're going to do some examples it depends on how long you take to complete examples so plan to be here at least till 1 o'clock okay thanks